Drivewire 4 requires Java 8 to run. And so recently I tried to run it with Java 17 and of course it didn't work. Um, the obvious thing to do here is to download the source and then compile it with a newer version of Java. Um, but then, you know, that doesn't work and it's not really straightforward. So I wanted to show here the steps that I took to get that to work. Now, um, although I did compile it and it ran, it doesn't look like um, the, the available uh, executable. So I think maybe the source files aren't the ones or the latest source files. So, but anyways, I'm going to put this out there and see if, you know, someone out there can recreate this and, you know, figure it out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download DriveWire. So, um, we can do it by Git. I just want to show you how it doesn't run with Java 17. Oh, here, so you can see my version of Java <clears throat> is 17. So let's clone it. And then we'll go in here. Okay. Then there's a jar file in here, the executable, which is this guy here, right? And so it should, you should just be able to do and it wants to start and then it just dies. It's like, what the heck? What's going on? I don't know why this is happening. Nothing starts. So. Um, the source files are in there, but it isn't really straightforward. Um, you know, how to use them. It's uh, the Eclipse project, I believe. Uh, and it uses Ant to compile. So let's go back in there, actually. <clears throat> and so we can try and compile with Ant. And it fails almost immediately. So and you get this weird error here. And you're like, oh, well, I can fix that real fast. I can just edit the build file, right? And so you can edit the build file. And, you know, you can you can search for stuff like that. Um, and then I could just say 17. 17. What was the other one? Source and target, Java 17, Java 17, right? Save that. And you're like, all right, well, that should work. And, you know, a lot more stuff happens, but it's all bad stuff. So at this point, you know, the frustration sets in. All right, so let's see if we can create a NetBeans project because. I was not able to open it with Eclipse, but I was able to get um, forward uh, momentum using NetBeans. And so what you want to do is create a new project, okay, Ant, right, and from existing sources. Well, NetBeans is, for whatever reason, looking for a feature. And we're going to call this, I don't know, drive wire for net beans. Sure. And we'll put it in here. Okay, we're going to add where the sources are. <clears throat> and that is in downloads, source, um, and so here are the source files. And so it should go through and find all the Java source files. We do that, click on finish, and it's 
scanning the project. So pretty soon we're going to have a lot of red on the screen here. Okay. So here we go. A lot of packages and a lot of files here are in red. And most of this is due to dependencies. So, you know, you can go here and you just add all the libraries that it needs. Let's start with this first library here. Okay. <clears throat> and you got to clean this up later on, but you know, just to get started, you can do this. All right. And this should clear up uh, most of the red the blood on the screen. Well, there we go. This guy's clean. And then here, it looks like we have um, one file here. Okay. And another one here. Great. Let's tackle this one. Where is the error? Okay. So, sort tree listener. That is not there. That is not a standard package. That's not out of uh, the standard uh, Java API. And so we can look here, it says it doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. Well, that file does not exist in the source files. And so it looks like uh, that was a file that was removed in you know, the latest uh, revision. So one thing we could do is go out here and maybe we could do this with Git, but um, <clears throat> I found this to be a little faster. You just you can go and grab, actually, no. Let's see. All right. So we can do this here. Okay. All right. And we could Let me see. Okay. Well, so we'll just do it here. Okay. All right. And where are we? We'll just do it right here. And so this works. It downloads um, the CVS. Um, <clears throat> I want to excuse my throat's a little scratchy, but it downloads the, the whole repository. Now, the only, re the only downside is here. Let's see if you look at, let's see, all these files, they have a comma V after the extension. And what this means is that um, it's not initialized, but that's fine. You know, all the CVS history is there and all that, and that's what we want, actually. And so we can do a, a find real fast. For, uh, what was that we were looking for? <clears throat> sort tree listener. And sure enough, there is one there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this in file browser. It makes it a little bit easier. Just so you can see what's going on. <clears throat> okay. So we'll take this guy. Let's see. Drive RUI. Config editor. Okay. Now we got to remember here this config editor location. Because... Um, I think that's part of the package name. And so let's go in 
and we're going to go to the one we downloaded. These are our sources, right? UI. Um, I think it's in. Oh God, why is this that way? Can I change this list view? This is horrible. Whatever. Group Unix, drive our UI. And here we have to create a directory called, uh, what did I say it was? Config editor. And you got to pay attention to the case because case is important in Java. Place this file in there. Let's rename it. And when you open this file up, there's all sorts of nonsense in there. So we got to either delete it or comment it out like this stuff here. this stuff here. And I think that's it. So now let's come over here and then this is no longer red. And just for kicks, let's compile and see what sort of errors we got on the output. <clears throat> so let's see here. So these overrides here, yeah, it should be a single at symbol. Okay, so we have an issue here. Let's see what it is. We have two more over here. Okay, library root. So this is not in main win. And this may be one of the issues I'm having, I don't know. So we'll just comment that. Okay, so as you can see, this is no longer red. This is no longer red over here. It's good. So we have basic viewer. All right, what is the issue with basic viewer? Coco view. Coco view does not exist. Look over here. It's not in the source files. Let's look at the package name. Um, it should, should be in plugins. Drive RUI plugins. And we are in Drive RUI plugins right now, and Coco View is not there. So uh, let's go look for it again. Let's look here. Oh, it's not going to be there. Sorry. Coco View. Well, there it is. All right. So. our UI and where it say has to be in plugins. You can see it's not here. So let's place it in here. Let's rename it. Okay. Oops. All right, again, let's get rid of this nonsense. It's here. This other nonsense, it's down here. Okay, and now Coco View <clears throat> is here. Let's open it up. We'll see we have some red stuff here. Basic line, what is basic line? Doesn't exist either. Great class, now let's see if basic line exists. And basically we're just adding all these missing uh, classes. And here it is in drive our UI. Okay. So come over here, got our plugins. It's the same thing.
put on the bottom. More nonsense. Save it. Okay, and let's compile it, see what happens. Looks like Coco View has more of this stuff here. Boom. Basic line is still there. We'll fix that now. Okay, let's see. No, I thought I included basic line in there. Maybe I put it in the wrong spot. No, I don't want to do that. I want to compile. Now all these other errors here I found has to do with one single library. Okay, that one library, we'll come back to this here a second, just to get rid of all that stuff because it's it's really annoying. It is this guy right here. See SW SWT library uh, for Linux ARM. So we'll remove it. <coughs> And all those should clear right up. Okay, much easier. Another one that we should remove is Linux 32-bit um, because my computer is 64-bit. My OS is 64-bit. And that will cause issues. It'll compile, but it'll cause issues later on. <clears throat> all right, so now we can go back to... Um, See Coco View, can I find symbol? Can I find symbol? Warning, synchronization tip, that's fine. Okay, here we go, error. All right, basic line. Basic line, basic line, and I thought I put in basic line. Here it is. I don't know why. Ah, I see. See, what it doesn't have, you see what it doesn't have? It doesn't have the package. I must have deleted it. So we'll just copy the package from this one because I believe they're in the same location. And there we go. There's no more red. So let's try and compile this. And this won't run yet, by the way. If I try to run, it'll give an error. These are just warnings, but we have a successful build. Okay, now, um, let me see if I can run it from here. So this is the main class, and it will fail. And that's fine, because I know why it failed. All right, so. Um, what we need to do is go to where um, download source or UI. So we need some XML files. They're in here. And God, I cannot stand this view. I wish I would have fixed this before starting the video. I'm not really sure how to fix this here. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> so what we need are, it looks for help. It looks for um, config, and it looks for drive R UI. No, it doesn't look for drive R UI, but I'll just throw it in there. Uh, master, there we go. Okay. And so we'll go to where our projects are at. Okay. And it's going to be the disk folder here. Okay, so then we'll try running it. Yeah, well, maybe not from there. Let's do it from here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, no manifest. Why is that? Hmm. Let's see. Let's do this. If there's no manifest, we're gonna have to run this directly. Main win. Okay. Um, I think you gotta get the class path this way. And then you gotta tell it to run main win. Is that what it's called? Yeah. There we go. Anyways, that is the drive wire server. It works. It runs. It just doesn't look right. Something's wrong with it. Um, I should be able to fix that here. Uh, go to run, set main project. Okay. Why did it run? Anyways, that's something there. I don't know what's going on, but this is how this is how you run it. It it runs. Just it looks funky, you know, and it crashes if I do this. All right, but that's fine. I can deal with that. Actually, I think that's. Um, I can probably fix that real fast. Right. So it crashes here, I believe. And I go in there and I paste these again. Oh, great. Yeah. Let's do this again. Nope. Master, drive our UI, help, and config. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, of course, because it got destroyed. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Now it doesn't crash. Just tells you all that weird stuff. Okay, another thing um, to show here is if you look at you know the wiki here, it'll tell you that if you want to start it, um, let's see, using drive wire, I believe it's here, and you can pass it a light GUI option. Right, so I think I can do this. No, I spelled that wrong. Oh, light UI, sorry. And there you go. All right, it seems to run. I get. I'm, I'm pretty sure it works. I just, and it's different from the Drywire Four version that I was using. So I'm not, not 100% sure um, how to configure it. You know, through the GUI. I think I could just open up the XML files and manually do that. But I should be able to do it through the GUI. Well, anyhow, I hope uh, this can help somebody. Um, you know, compile this and run it with a later version of Java um, and and uh, maybe figure out what I'm doing wrong because maybe this is the source for this. Um, yeah, that's it for DW4. Thank you.